Look, I'm just going to say it. If you're unhappy, it's because you haven't honed the skills to be happy. Now, right now, you're probably thinking, Adam, what are you talking about? Happiness isn't a skill. How am I supposed to be happy when I have no money, don't have many friends, and everything in my life seems to be crumbling? But that train of thought right there is exactly why you might be unhappy. You see, happiness doesn't come from anything external. It comes from your internal state. And if happiness did come from having money and other nice things, then that would mean every celebrity who has all the nice things would be happy. But that isn't the case. In fact, we even see some people who have all the nice things like abundant money, a nice house, and a beautiful car at times take their own lives. And we see plenty of people who have none of that stuff who are extremely happy. The truth of the matter is happiness comes from you conquering your mind, attitude, and emotions. It comes from how you choose to handle and perceive events that happen in your life. That's why the same thing can happen to two different people and their reaction could be completely different. For example, let's say two people choose to go buy a hot dog and let's also say that both of them drop it. Well, one of them could be extremely upset about dropping it while the other could just shake it off and get back in line. Your mentality is what dictates your happiness. You have to begin to train your mind for positivity and happiness. In fact, that's why in the new era of health, we have you acquire the mind of a conqueror so that you're in a fun-loving attitude, hit all your goals in life, and are happy every day. What you need to realize is that all the successful and happy people in your life weren't born with anything that you don't have. They don't have any magical genes that make them happy on a regular basis. They've just programmed and conditioned their mind to be happy. Instead of looking at something with negativity and getting upset or frustrated, they look at the positive of it. I'll let you in on a little secret that changed my life. There's a positive in every negative situation. In fact, let me tell you one of my most personal stories that will exemplify this. My best friend passed away about three months ago and I could have sat there blaming the world and just stayed upset with a ton of resentment. But instead, I chose to look at the positive. That experience of him passing away made me realize how important all my friendships and relationships really are. I began to reach out to a lot of my friends and put in more work to see them because him passing away made me realize how much that meant to me. And don't get me wrong, it sucked that he died. He's been my best friend for over 12 years and he's been there for me through everything. I literally cried more time than I did in the first three days that I found out. But what good would have came if I chose to focus on the bad? Nothing. Instead, I turned that event into one of the more positive routes that I could have. I let that event better my life instead of making it worse. And you can do the same in your life. You can begin to look at things positively instead of negatively. And once you start to do this on a regular basis, you will form a habit of it. And when you do this, you will start to be happy on a regular basis. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then please hit that subscribe or like button. And I want to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know where in your life this strategy could have been helpful.